Hi y'all, Matt here at Grafted Branch Homestead. Happy uh, Friday, um, just out doing some things in the yard here. And actually I wanted to make it just a quick little video. Um, so I have been getting some comments on a lot of my older videos, um, kind of more recently here. And one of them, I wanted to make a, a video to respond to that, just because I had a little more to say than uh, I really thought I could type in there. And so really just to get to it, the, the comment that was left was on my quail culling video. And it was saying that they liked the video, which is awesome. I, I appreciate people leaving comments, especially uh, ones with a lot of feedback. That helps out a lot. Um, they were saying uh, in the video I, I had called the the uh, quails that had gotten injured and not the ones that were doing the injuring. And um, I did that for several reasons. But I, the reason I wanted to make the video is it's a little more in-depth. And, and if you're thinking about doing quail or, or, or starting out, um, maybe some of this can help you. But um, so one of the things I've done with these videos is I've chosen to make a lot of the videos not uh, necessarily making them because I have a lot of experience in it, but making them um, kind of the first time I'm doing things. So you can all see me go through these struggles as well. And so in that video I did, I uh, had some injured quails that some of the other real aggressive ones had beat up and I, did, I called those injured ones. I did that for several reasons actually. And one of it was I had needed to call about half my flock anyways. Mistake number one in getting quail. I got far too many eggs. I did win them, but I got far too many eggs to start with and just wasn't prepared. Um, I had to quickly build bigger hutch and cages and things like that. So number one, get enough quail that you can start, but not too many. Um, so I did do that. So I ended up culling a lot of them. Those ones were very injured and probably wouldn't have made it. So I would have culled them anyways, just out of, um, you know, empathy in there and whatnot. But, uh, um, so the aggressive ones, I do agree. They said call those aggressive ones. You don't want to pass those traits on. Um, and when you you start breeding and stuff, you don't want those genes moving on. I completely agree. You are one smart cookie. Anyways, um, yeah, and so I've learned a lot of that. I kind of knew some of that, and that was the process. But I've actually learned a whole lot along the way. So number two, don't keep the quail that are real aggressive or will cause you problems. Don't pass those genes on. Um, so I did actually end up culling a lot of the real aggressive ones. Now another reason I hadn't done that yet brings me to point three if you're starting off with quail. You need enough cages. Make sure you have enough space to separate them. Now I had enough space for my quail, but what I didn't um, run in, I didn't think about I guess was having some little cages set up for like med bays almost where you can put ones that are injured that can recover um, alone for a little bit and uh, where I can separate out males or aggressive ones before I call them. I didn't have enough of the really the facilities, the cages and stuff set up for that. And so that's uh, having, you know, these ones were in here uh, recovering. Um, I have to, ooh, let's kind of, uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. But anyways, after a real aggressive one had gotten them. So these guys are in here and this is my little calling box. But they're in here healing up. They're actually male and female, so and then I will put them in together. And what I do is I'll take them, take all the quail out of the cage they're going in, and then I put, sorry, the camera keeps coming in out of focus. I will put them all in a, in a box, basically, and close it. I kind of squirt them all with a really diluted vinegar solution, um, and then come clean their cage and squirt that with that vinegar solution, too, to kill any smells. They kind of forget who each other are, and then I put them all back into the same cage together. So that's where these two will go. I am currently building a couple more cages um, that I got going, and those will be in some future videos, some smaller ones that I can use as med bays and whatnot. In one of my early videos I had said I don't get the point of a grow out, and I wasn't going to do that, just put them right into the cage. Well now I get the point of a grow out. So this hutch actually, or this, this cage set here, is going to be my grow out cage once the others are finished. Um, and where you can separate them, where I can put ones that are injured, or whatnot. So I also hadn't started my breeding uh, yet really at that time. So I was just trying to get my flock where I wanted them. Now that I have, ooh, and these guys need water. Uh, but now that I have my flocks, I want them. Um, and we can see in here I have in each one of these, that one in the back there with the band on his leg, that's the male. And then he has uh, four females in there. Same as down in here and then over in here. Uh, this one, I don't have the male in there yet. So now that I have that done, I've picked out the males that aren't real aggressive, the ones I really like. They're in here with the females I, the same way that I want those genes to pass on, and I'll start collecting those eggs. 
Now, I don't have a culling cage yet, and so some of these quills you've seen, um, I, I've just been culling right away. I also have a couple of them that live out with the chickens, um, and they actually really enjoy it. They seem to be doing really well. There's some males and females. They have some eggs that are fertile down there. Um, these ones I won't eat because they've been living on the ground. Uh, they're more as pets, really, um, and they all, I may pass some of their eggs along as well. Anyways, thanks for listening to my long-winded response. Um, I really liked that comment. I really wanted to come on and just say I appreciate people really leaving, um, you know, valuable information and good feedback and, and all that. I do appreciate those comments very much. They help me along my journey. So I wanted to express that uh, point to people maybe who are thinking about getting into quail, as well as a few others I have, such as getting, making sure you have enough cages and whatnot. So. If you like, check out some of my other quail videos. Till next time.